History class is back in session, folks. Are you ready? This week we're heading back to ancient Rome for this week's episode of Dorky, Geeky, Nerdy. Hey gang, I'm your host, Brian Rollins, and it's been a while since we've had a full-on history episode, and as summer wanes, it seems like a good time to get our brains back in shape. As always, it's 30 questions broken up into three rounds. If you need a scorecard or rules, visit us at dorkygeekynerdy.com. That covers the ceremonial, so let's get started. The Dorky Round Number 1. According to legend, what is the name of the twins that founded Rome? Romulus and Remus Number 2. Who is considered the first emperor of Rome? Augustus. Julius Caesar was the last dictator of Rome. Number three. What emperor was later accused of fiddling while Rome burned? Emperor Nero. Any instrument resembling a fiddle wouldn't be invented for another eight centuries. Number four, who was the first Roman emperor to convert to Christianity? Constantine I, or Constantine the Great. Number five, the ancient city of Rome was built on seven what? It's built on seven hills. Number six. Pompeii was destroyed in 79 AD when what volcano erupted? Mount Vesuvius. Number seven. What was the main language of ancient Rome? Latin. Number eight. What Roman general committed suicide along with Cleopatra? Mark Antony. Number nine. Romans are credited with creating Codex, the first form of what? Books. Prior to this, writing was done on scrolls or tablets. Number 10. By 200 AD, the Romans had made 50,000 miles of what? Roads. They were so smooth and straight, a legion could travel 25 miles in a day. The Geeky Round Number 1. Julius Caesar's crossing of what river has become a metaphor for a point of no return? The Rubicon Number 2. What emperor got his name from the Latin for Little Boot? Caligula. Number three. The Roman mile was how many paces? (laughs) 
1,000. It comes from the Latin word mille, which means 1,000. Number four, the largest Roman archaeological feature in Britain is what? Hadrian's Wall. Number five, the 200 years of prosperity that began with Augustus's reign are known as what? Pax Romana. Number six, what major river flows through the city of Rome? The Tiber River. Number seven, what people famously sacked Rome in 410 AD? The Visigoths. By this point, the capital of the empire had been moved to Ravenna. Number eight. Ancient Romans mixed slaked lime with volcanic ash to make what? Concrete. Number nine. This is episode 135 of the show. How would you write 135 in Roman numerals? CXXXV. Number 10. Only the emperor or high officials could wear what color? Purple. The nerdy round. Number 1. The Roman Empire reached its largest under what emperor? Trajan. It spanned from England in the north to Egypt in the south and all the way east to the Persian Gulf. Number two. While Hadrian's Wall is located in modern England, where is the Antonine Wall? Scotland. Number three, Christianity became the official religion of the Roman Empire under what emperor? Theodosius I. You might remember him from the Olympics episode as the killjoy that ended the ancient games. Number four, what day is the Ides of March? It's the 15th of March. Number five, the first Punic War was fought between Rome and what other city-state? Carthage. Number six. Julius Caesar, along with Pompey and Crassus, made up what? The first triumvirate. Number seven. What legislation is considered the foundation of Roman law? The Law of the Twelve Tables. Number eight. The Romans produced an acta diurna 
considered one of the first of what? <coughs> Newspapers. Acta Diurna translates to daily act, which were printed on stone or metal and posted in public places. Number nine. It seems the Romans had a god or goddess for everything. What was Crepitus the god of? I'm not making this up. He's the god of toilets. Number 10. The Colosseum was built by slaves from what Roman province? Jerusalem. Between 60 and 100,000 slaves were brought back to Rome after the Jewish-Roman War. And we are done. Shall there be a tribute in your honor, or is it off to the Colosseum to entertain the masses? Either way, I hope you had fun and learned something. We'll be back here next week for more trivia fun. Speaking of, here's a clue for next week's show. What decade brought us cartoons based on Dungeons and Dragons, Mr. T, and Rambo? Cartoons and trivia, always a popular mix here at DGN. This has been episode 135 of the Dorky, Geeky, Nerdy Trivia Podcast. The music has been by Jason Shaw at Audionautics.com. I'm your host, Brian Rollins. You can find me and my other work at TheVoicesInMyHead.com. Speaking of other works, if you're a fan of true crime, be sure to check out my latest audiobook narration, Murder Time 6 by Alan R. Warren. It's the true story of the Wells Gray murders in Canada during the mid-1980s. It's my first non-fiction narration and I'm pretty proud of it. You can find it on audible.com. Just search for Murder Time 6. See you next week and thanks for listening. Tis the season to be podcasting. Stay inside with a warm beverage and a hot microphone. If you're interested, Spotify can help you out. They've got a platform that lets you make one, distribute it, and earn money all in one place for free. It's called Spotify for Podcasters, and here's how it works. Spotify for Podcasters lets you record and edit podcasts right from your phone or computer. So, you've already got the equipment necessary to start recording today. Then, you can distribute your podcast to Spotify, Apple, Google, and everywhere else podcasts are heard. Video podcasts are also available on Spotify. And, when you want to take conversations with your fans to the next level, Q&A and polls are an excellent way to get them talking. With Spotify for Podcasters, you can earn money in a variety of ways, including ads and podcast subscriptions. Best of all, it's completely free. I switched dorky, geeky, nerdy over to Spotify for Podcasters, and I haven't regretted it. The analytics are fantastic, and the new tools for hosting and updating the feed are way more than I could do self-hosting. Now... It's your turn. Head to podcasters.spotify.com and read all about it. Then let me know what you're podcasting all about. Immortality isn't just about living forever. Sometimes it's about forever refusing to let things die. For his 15th birthday, David Rose wishes for things to go back to the way they were. He wants the nightmares to end, the bullies to leave, and the claustrophobic memories of his near drowning to disappear, not to mention his surreal encounter with a mythical creature. 
He stands with his little sister Rachel in front of their mother's grave and pledges to seek the truth about what really happened on that terrible evening a year ago. But this quest for truth threatens to unleash a sinister plot centuries in the making. David must awaken in time to the incredible truth, to his newfound powers, and to the realization that to protect his family and survive in a world he's always known, he must come to grips with the dark secrets of a world he never knew existed. Evolved Publishing presents An Extraordinary Adventure Through Time, an epic tale of hesitant heroism and the timeless battle between good and evil in the first book in the David Rose series of young adult fantasies. The Awakening of David Rose, written by Daryl Rothman and narrated by Brian Rollins. Available now on Audible, iTunes, Spotify, and more.